A very warm greetings to all. So today in this lecture we are going to study in chapter number four of your textbook that is our houses. Coming to the overview of the subject which I am teaching you. So social studies is a subject which interacts children socially. Coming to the lessons which we have to cover in this lecture. First of all we will see about definition of house and its need. Then we will move towards types of houses that is kacha house and pakka house. Then third, we will see parts of a house, different parts included in a house. So we will study them in brief. Coming to our first topic, that is definition of house and its need. So house is defined as the place where we live with our family and close related people. We need house because a house protects us from different kinds of weather, for example, rain, winter, etc. Secondly, house also protects us from the harmful animals and thieves. Coming to the next part, that is types of house. So there are mainly two types of house. First is kacha house and second is pakka house. Kacha house are the houses which are made up of mud, dry leaves, sticks, etc. For example, house in villages. These are not strong in nature. Second, we have pakka house. Houses which are made up of bricks, cements and iron is known as pakka house. For example, houses in cities. These are very strong in nature. Coming to the next part, so there are some other types of house too. So uh, first one we have huts, second house boats, third igloos which are made up of ice, fourth tents, fifth we have caravas. Now coming to the parts of house, so parts of a house includes first one we have drawing room, room which are for guests is known as drawing room. Second, bedroom where we sleep and take rest is known as bedroom. Third, we have bathroom. Room where we take bath is known as bathroom. Coming to the next, study room. Room where we study is known as study room. Then we have kitchen where food is cooked is known as kitchen. Then we have dining room. Room where we take our meal is known as dining room. So that was it for you today's chapter. Some moral values which we have to learn from this chapter are we should keep our house clean. We should never spread garbage in our house. And lastly, we should love our home. So that was it. And your homework is you have to write an essay on my home. I'll meet you soon in the next lecture. Thank you.